Thank you for tuning in to Bringing the Heat with Regina Weston. Here we inspire and deal with topics that matter. Stay tuned. Hold up and wait a minute, Bringing the Heat listeners. To find out about all things Regina, visit my website at www.reginaweston.com. There you can purchase all my books and learn more about my nonprofit organization, which is Mending Hearts, Women Healing Women. And if you would like to support this podcast, you can do so by using my cash app, dollar sign rweston252. Now let's get into it. Today, I already know that I'm treading on dangerous ground. I want to talk about parenting. Now, when I talk on this subject matter, I'm not just talking to you. I am also talking to myself because I am guilty, guilty with a capital G. Mothers, we have to stop ruining our children. In particular, our young men. Sometimes we have the ability as mothers to smother our young children male heirs and i get it i'm a mother now proverbs 22 and 6 train up a child in the way that he should go and when he is old he will not depart from it so mothers we have to give our sons the tools that they need to make it in life but we just can't do that by ourselves it takes two parents to instill those values into a man cannot teach my sons how to be men. Men need men in their lives. My brother said something very interesting to me the other day because my son, baby son, got into a situation where he knew better and I came to his aid. And my brother said to me, when are you going to fall back, Regina, when you pushing up daisies? He's 27 years old. He knows better. And I, being the mother that I am, I was like, yeah, but... I didn't want this. He said, Regina, you have to let him fall. If you keep picking him up, he's not going to know how to fall and get back up. You know why? Because you're always lending a helping hand. And you know what? He was 100% right. At some point, mothers, we have to fall back or we're going to cripple our children. They need to know that when they get themselves in the situation They need to have the brain power, the rationale, the skills to say, which way do I go? Which way do I go? What do I do? We cannot always pull them out of situations that they created, especially when we have taught them right from wrong. Now that leads me into this. But the other message is to the child as well. If you have a mother or you have parents that love you and have taught you right from wrong, then you turn around, get yourself in trouble, and then tell your parents. You got the nerves. You got the audacity to tell your parents that they have never done nothing for you or held you down or had your back. Child, I do not believe in corporal punishment. Bill Cosby made that phrase that I brought you in this world and I'll take you out. No, we cannot do that because that's murder. But I will shake some life into you if you come to me with that foolishness because you're playing with my intelligence. And that's how some of our young children and older children are doing. They're taking advantage of us parents because they feel entitled. They feel like we owe them something. I didn't ask to be born. But see, nobody asked to be born. If you are here, you are not a mistake. God wanted you here for whatever the intended purpose. So, parent, he told us to train them up in the way that they should go. So, once we put in them what they supposed to have in them, we supposed to let them go and do their own thing, make their own choices, make their own mistakes, and let them fix them. Now, to the child. Because, see, y'all got it twisted. You are not entitled once I have done what the Word of God told me to do. In Ephesians 6, 1 and 3, it says, children. Because, see, he said something to you, too. He said, children, obey your parents and the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and your mama. This is the first commandment with promise, that it may go well with you 
and that you may live long in the land. Society has told them you don't have the right to discipline them. If you so grown, young man, then you do what grown people do. They get their own place. They pay their own expenses. They live their own life. And they don't call their parents every five seconds. They feel as though they're in a crisis. That's what grown people do. I don't call my daddy but to say hello. Did you hear that? Because I'm fully grown. So that's why parents, we got to set some boundaries for our children. We have to do it the way God instructed us. Now, am I telling you to set them outside and close the door and don't help them? No. What I'm telling you is to give them a chance to fix the messes that they get into. That's what I'm telling them. And to the child, I'm telling you to be grateful for what your parent has done for you. Now, if you would like to support this podcast, you can do so. By using my cash app at dollar sign R Weston 252. Now, until we meet again, go and grab yourself a mirror. Look in the mirror and say to yourself, I am love, I am unique, and I am valuable. Now, give yourself a kiss. That's a kiss from me to you. Know that I love you and I got your back. Thank you, bringing the heat listeners. To listen to this podcast, Go to anchorfm.com, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Play, where we bring...